I'm going to show you how to install three or more Blum hinges on a door. There's loads of information on the Blum website and on internet YouTube videos on how to install a door with two hinges, but I could not find anything on how to install with three or more hinges. So first off, why would you want more than two hinges? Well, one reason is a long door like this. A third hinge will help prevent warping of the frame of the door. Another reason is on a pantry door where you've maybe got shelves and a lot of weight, then you'd want three or even four or five hinges and the Blum website provides information on how many hinges based on the weight of the door are required. So what I've done is I've installed the door with two hinges. I've drilled for the third hinge and I've done all my adjustments so that I've got the even gap around the edge of the door. And then I've got a shim here that kind of just fits in at the middle. Because when I install that third hinge, I don't want it pushing the frame in or out. The first thing I'll do is install the third Blum hinge. And I'm using a number two Posa drive screwdriver. You could get away with a Phillips if you just had one hinge to do, but the Posa drive fits, screws fit different, and um, all the Blum screws are positive. drive. Now I'm going to loosen off the plate a little and snap the uh, Blum hinge in place. For the up and down adjustment, I want each hinge to carry a third the weight of the door. So I'm just going to kind of go by feel and just push that hinge up a little bit and then tighten the screws getting the right position of these screws is to just go by feel. So there it gets tight, here it gets tight, because it's fighting against the, the other two hinges so that with the door. So I could just go kind of halfway in between there. See that? Halfway. Then check my shim. Feels good. Final adjustment is in and out this way. So that's this screw here. And here I am going to go entirely by feel because I don't really have any, any other way. And I'm just kind of looking at the position of my thumb, pointing down, pointing 90, and so I kind of go 45. 